you know love story that took an eerie turn predator of the amin punawala who was lover to 26 year old shadha walker killed her chopped her into 35 pieces and scattered her dismembered body parts across a forest in south delhi in this episode of chitti media's news and security analysis aishreya agarwal will be taking you through the avta punawala shadha walker murder case situation in the uk with respect to grooming gangs the psychology behind love jihad and finally on the red flags in an interfaith relationship which may indicate ulterior motives and how you can keep yourself and your little girls safe from them talking about the shraddha walkar murder case shraddha was daughter of vikas walkar and suman madan since 2016 vikas walkar the complainant in the case and also shraddha's father was living in separation from his wife and two children Shraddha's mother passed away in 2020. Shraddha was working in a call center in Mumbai in 2018 where she allegedly met Aftab Amin Punawala who was also working there. They came to know about 8 to 9 months later that Shraddha was in a relationship with Aftab. In 2019 Shraddha told her parents that she wanted to live with Aftab. The parents allegedly disapproved of the relationship and expressed their concerns about the boy being a Muslim. upon which the girl reminded her parents that she was now 25 and as an adult she had the right to choose her partner thereafter she disowned her parents and went on to live with aftab the father came to know later from shadha's friends that she lived with aftab in nayagaon and subsequently vasai shadha allegedly informed both her parents of aftab committing acts of violence upon her from time to time however he would apologize and the two would patch up The father was informed of the same by Shadha's friends also. Thereafter, as any regular father would, he proposed to Shadha to come back home. However, she refused. Following this, her father cut off ties from Shadha completely. Her younger brother was thereafter informed two years later, on 14 September 2022, by her friend that Shadha has not been receiving any calls from him. or any other friends since july 2022 following this her father who was now suspicious and afraid he lodged a missing report for shraddha in maharashtra the case was then transferred to delhi because shraddha and her uh, alleged boyfriend were now living in delhi as per investigation they were allegedly living in the chatrapur pahadi area of delhi the delhi police received the transferred case on november 9 and began initial proceedings under section 365 of crpc which talks about kidnapping or abduction with the illegal uh, uh, intent to keep the person confined further investigations have revealed that aftab strangled shraddha on may 18th this year then purchased a refrigerator and stored her body in it for several days before dismembering it using hand saw into 35 pieces and disposing the different body parts in a forest in south delhi now the larger issue here is that beat an aziz in karnataka a married muslim man with two children who forced a woman to convert to islam ending up in her committing suicide or an akram in madhya pradesh who allegedly raped a woman after impersonating himself as a hindu man as amar kushwaha the love jihad cases just don't stop coming where is all of this coming from if you look at it then there is also a similar situation in the uk where it has been estimated that nearly 1 million non muslim women have been victims of muslim group of grooming gangs wherein young girls are allured from outside colleges outside schools picked up from children's shelter homes systematically introduced and gotten addicted to drugs coerced into prostitution and or gang raped jack straw a member of parliament from britain has stated that british white women are seen and treated by pakistani origin men in the uk as easy meat here in india they are referred to as winner trophies but the psychology remains the same now calculations based on convictions in the uk have shown that a muslim man was 170 times more likely to be part of a sex grooming gang than a non muslim 
In one local jurisdiction, it has in fact been estimated that six out of seven Muslim men were either part of such a grooming gang or aware of some such arrangement or racket. Coming back to the psychology aspect of it, that what is the psychology which drives the perpetrators of such crimes? Now, Islam prohibits conversion of a Muslim to any other faith. However, it welcomes and encourages the practice of converting non-Muslims to Islam. Radical Islam, in fact, encourages the adoption of any ways and means to convert non-Muslims to Islam, including the use of violence and conversion through marriage. In fact, it is popularly believed that the Quran encourages Muslim men to take infidel women or women supposedly belonging to infidel men as sex slaves and that the practice is firmly established in the Sharia law. According to his own social media profile, if you look at it, Aftab Amin Poonawala seemed to be a regular guy working at a call centre, going about his regular activities, even seemed to be holding liberal beliefs completely non-characteristic of a hard-wired practitioner of Islam. Now, perhaps for an already disturbed Shraddha, who would be looking for respite from the pain of a broken yet slightly conservative family, Aftab, or what he portrayed himself to be, looked like a much-needed break. Amidst all of this, coming back to the main point at hand, that how do you keep your little girls safe? What are the red flags that might indicate that you or your little girls are involved with a religious predator in an interfaith relationship? Uh, if there are sudden, un unexplained, sudden advances, if there are extra efforts being made to by the predator to distance themselves from the radical practices of their faith, if specific efforts are being made to portray themselves as tolerant of secular practices, if you are being suddenly shard with gigs, or if your uh, young child is being suddenly shard with gifts from unexplained quarters and absolute strangers, if suddenly uh, a lot of emotional support is being uh, offered, offering of drugs, encouraging sexual favors, committing acts of violence, which has all happened in the grooming gangs in the UK and it has also happened in the Shraddha Valkar case. And finally, distancing of the victim from her loved ones, which is the ultimate and the final uh, straw in the whole uh, act of love jihad. If you know somebody who is facing any of this, if you think or you suspect that your uh, little child might be facing this, then step in, speak up, get legal help. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.